Hello friends, Intuitive Renee here, bringing you your Sunday Oracle message for the 26th of September 2021. And remember, Sunday Oracle messages are for the Sunday and for the week ahead. And as you can see, I don't have any cards on the table. I thought we would um, shuffle and draw on screen. And the reason for that is because the two decks that I'm using, two of the decks that I'm using today, are reversible. In other words, they have writing or information images on both sides. So it's difficult to lay them on the table because you're going to see what they are before we've actually seen what they are. So, <laughs> and it's awfully confusing. Bear with me. We'll get there. So it is Sunday. And as I said, I do like my Sunday readings to give you insight for the week ahead as well, because I know not everybody is able to watch the daily readings. So if that is the case, you can look at Sunday to give you the guidance for the week ahead so that you know what kind of energy we're dealing with. And today I am going to be working with the Divine Energy Oracle, um, such a beautiful deck. This is going to give us our theme for the week, um, which I think will be quite exciting to see. And I'm also going to be working with the Law of Attraction cards by Esther and Jerry Hicks. And because I grabbed that deck, I had to stick with the other deck from the same creators, which is Ask and It Is Given cards. So these, these are the Oracle decks that I'm working with today that are going to give us the guidance that we need for the week ahead. Um, right, let's get straight into it and see what we have so the first ones that I am working with, and I've just seen I've still got the title cards in it. The first ones that I'm working with is the Ask and it is Given cards. So you can see what I mean when I say they've got images on the one side and they've got writing on the other. So that's why we're going to shuffle and draw on camera, on screen. So we're looking for guidance for today and for the week ahead from Spirit, please. What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware about? What is important and significant for the week ahead? And that is the card. Right, so let's get it out of the way. Let me put the others aside without dropping it everywhere so the card says i will never cease being or desiring i like that so we've got a beautiful little bird that's flying through the sky we've got some fluffy clouds and that says i will never cease being or desiring and i think that's important you know uh, uh, there's been such a strong theme that's been coming through the readings the last couple of days a theme where we are all, we're going through evolution, we're going through change. It's major, it's big, it's huge, it's magnificent, it's all of these kind of things, but we're so afraid. And I think this is such an important message for us because we need to understand, we need to realize that we're never going to cease being or desiring. We always want to improve ourselves. We're always looking for better. We're always looking for something else. Let's read the message on the back of the card. It says, you will never cease to be. New desires will be constantly born within you. Source will never stop answering your desires. And your expansion is therefore eternal. And so you may begin to relax if at this moment there is nothing that you desire that has not yet come to fruition. I think that is just such an awesome, awesome message and an appropriate one as well. All right, I'm now going to grab the Law of Attraction cards, and again, they have images on the on that side, and they have writing on that. So we're going to give them a shuffle as well, and we're asking from Spirit. We're asking for guidance. We're asking for clarity. We're asking for just a little bit of insight of what's important and significant right now. What do we need to know? What do we need to be aware of? What is the message that for the week ahead that we need to know? And apparently that's the card <laughs> it went flying right let's have a look if i can pick it up okay so it is card eight the other one didn't have a number on it and i'm loving the little red house i'm loving the, the yellow brick road and the message at the bottom it says my inner being guides me through my emotions and I do get the windy road of emotions. You know, we start off strong. We start off solid. We start off so enthusiastic and so brave in everything that we're doing. And as we start wandering this path, our self-doubt, our insecurities start getting up. And sometimes we don't even get to our destination. Sometimes we get so caught up along the way in our own minds, in our own insecurities, in our own fears that we don't arrive at our destination. So understand that you will never cease to be but you will always have desire you will always want more want to improve yourself and and i think that's just the nature of human isn't it that is just the nature of who we are is that we are constantly trying to improve our situation our circumstances and all of that 
but we have to understand that you know our emotions being human means being emotional it is just it's it's what and who we are and we have to navigate our emotions through everything that we do in life let's have a look on the back it says while you are indeed a wondrous physical creator you exist simultaneously in another dimension. There is a part of you, which is your inner being, that exists in this physical body, and your guiding emotions are your physical indication of your relationship with your inner being. Let me read that for you one more time. While you are indeed a wondrous physical creator, you exist simultaneously in another dimension. That's a whole nother conversation, okay? Let's just understand that, but yes. There is a part of you, which is your inner being, that exists in this physical body, and your guiding emotions are your physical indication of your relationship with your inner being, your relationship with yourself. And I get that life is really complicated. Life is really difficult at times, and especially when you throw in some emotions. And, you know, with everything that we're facing in the world at the moment, with the pandemic, with, you know, uh, we, we could go on about it forever, but with everything that's going on in the world, we're all in a state of panic. We're all fearful. We're all nervous. You know, do you vaccinate? Don't you vaccinate? Do you do this? Don't you do that? We're, there's so many conspiracy theories. There's so many truths, okay? Now, now there's, there's a really big phrase. There are so many truths. Your truth may be different to somebody else's truth, and you know what? That's okay. That's okay. As long as you're making your decisions based on what feels right within your heart and soul, as long as the journey that you're on, that you recognize that it's your journey, you recognize that you are the only one walking this yellow brick road. You may have one or two people join you for the whole journey, for part of the journey, for none of the journey, but you've got to understand that as long as you are constantly trying to improve yourself, trying to become a better version of yourself, controlling and navigating your emotions all the time if you are doing that you are doing good then you are achieving then you are being true to yourself and and able to achieve the things that you want and the things that you need for yourself but when you stop walking when you stop desiring when you give up when you throw in the towel then you're suddenly doing yourself a disservice we have to understand that life is difficult. It really is. It's so difficult. Nobody has it easy. It doesn't matter if you're at the top of the food chain, in the middle of the food chain, or at the bottom. Nobody has it easy. It's difficult for everybody. But every single one of us have the same experiences in that we are guided by our emotions, and we're always wanting to improve. We're always wanting to do better. Okay. I'm now going to grab the divine energy oracle which is quite a massive deck and let's give it a shuffle and see now this deck it only has phrases or keywords on the back end of it um it, there's no images there's no graphics there's no picture it's just sort of a single word that um, we're going to use as our confirmation around whether we've got the message that spirit wanted us to have so the message from abraham um, Jerry and Esther Hicks, they are they channel the messages of Abraham, which is all about the law of attraction, asking and it will be given. What are we going through in life at the moment? What is important and significant? What is the message that Spirit wants us to have? And I'm going with that one. <laughs> I haven't turned it over yet. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Nurture yourself first. And you know what? I think that is just such an appropriate message, isn't it? Just because again, we're always wanting, we're, we're always wanting to improve ourselves. We're always wanting to be more, to do more, to have more, to achieve more, to accomplish more. But everything that we desire is based on another person's expectations or based on another person's needs, wants and desires. And we're always putting other people first before we taking care of the self. We, we also understand that this journey, this emotional journey that we're on, it is hard, it's complicated, it's certainly not easy. And what we need to understand is that it's not other people's journey. Let everybody handle their own journey. Let everybody walk their own path. And as long as you're paying attention to your emotions, as long as you're paying attention to your desires, you actually cannot go wrong. It's when you forego your own, when you give up on your own, when you neglect your own, that's when. That's when we lose ourselves. So friends, today, it's Sunday. This is the reading for today. 
and for the week ahead for the next couple of days until next sunday please understand that it's it's not bad to put you first it's not bad to be selfish it's not bad to be self-centered when we are self-centered in spite of everybody else when we put a negative spin on it yes that's bad but when you recognize your desires your emotions matter when you recognize that when you see that and when you acknowledge that it's not selfish it's not negative by taking care of yourself first you are then able to help other people i'm sure you've all heard um when you go on an airplane and they do the safety check they always say to you if the oxygen masks drop if there's a problem with cabin pressure please put your own mask on first before helping anybody around you that is the message here and as long as you're constantly improving yourself working on yourself recognizing your own journey your own emotional journey and paying attention that it's your journey to walk it's your experience looking after yourself first nurturing yourself first before putting other people's needs wants and desires first if you can do all of that and if we all do that this whole world will be so much happier, so much simpler, so much better. So let's do that together, friends. Let's focus on each one of us paying attention to our desires, on what we want to do, our emotions, the journey that we're on, making decisions for ourselves, nurturing ourselves, taking care of ourselves before we point fingers or look at anybody else. And if we can all focus on doing that, I can assure you we're in for an amazing future for all of us around the world. Certainly quite a deep thought and something strong to ponder. And friends, as always, with love and blessings, from my heart to yours, and until we connect again, take care.